has controlled protests. It's taken a huge toll on the ordinary people who see it as collective punishment. In this exclusive story, we show you how a family mourning the death of a five-day-old infant cannot even give him a decent burial. They're pleading with authorities, but the baby's corpse was lying for hours together in a cardboard box with his uncle because no coffin was available. The child's father hasn't even seen the baby since the boy was born. As crippling restrictions and curfew are paralyzing the general life across Kashmir Valley, I am standing at the Laladet Hospital, which is Kashmir Valley's only government maternity hospital, and thus is thronged by thousands of patients and attendants from across the length and breadth of Kashmir Valley on a daily basis. And as, as I speak to the patients and attendants out here, their problems are many, from non-availability of the food to even shortage of medicines. Everyone has a sordid tale to say, but the most tragic human tale comes from this individual. His name is Majid and comes from Sopor area of North Kashmir. And the box that he is carrying and he is carrying in his lap actually has the dead body of his nephew. Majid's sister has been admitted to Laladad Hospital. She gave birth to this baby boy five days ago. The father of the boy desperately tried to come and see his son while he was alive but he could not reach the hospital because of the curfew and of the restrictions. He started many times but had to return back from Midway. And now he can only see his dead body. But that, even that would only happen when Majid is able to take this dead body home because he hasn't been able to do so since morning. Neither the government hospital authorities are giving them the ambulance nor is there any provision for pro public transport given the restrictions. Majid sahab, you see the Yathman Shutai dead body, Panyas Benthar sahab, what do you think about this situation? The situation is left. 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 The situation is totally left. तो आप करें हो ये तो इमान एम्बुलेंस ही खातर है या क्या? ये तो जो माने नहीं कहाँ एम्बुलेंस तो टोटली शुरू माने नहीं कहाँ दबा उमाज़ सिर्फ गिरे इमियर उन तो ना गिरे मचन तो नहीं कहीं अच्छा तो तो ऐसे वाना जो इम्सुन मोल तेम करें कोशिश हो और बात नहीं चुकी तेम हुकने ज़िंदगी नहीं � he only his dead body, that too, as and when there is some arrangement for transport, which is not happening as of now. Majid tells me that neither the ambulances are ready to take him, nor has he been able to procure any public transport. The life is really paralyzed. With video journalist Ijaz Ahmad, Sohail Bukhari, Laladad Hospital in Srinagar, for News X. And Idris Lona joins me live uh, for developments on that story, the tragic story there, and also the situation on the ground. Uh, Idris, first, uh, let me ask you how things are on the ground. Friday prayers would have been more or less over by now. Uh, have you seen any violence? What's the situation like? Well, Royden, let me give you the update about this family who lost their son in the Laldad Hospital this, uh, you know, this morning. Uh, the family, actually, my colleague Sohail Bukhari got a call from the MOS uh, Health just now, and they, they have arranged for the ambulance, and the family is about to reach their hometown, which is Sopor, where they'll be performing the burial of this boy. So definitely uh, a news coming in from that place that they are about to reach there. And talking about the Friday prayers, we were actually expecting a lot of tension and the protests to take place in the valley, but thankfully it's been a calm day. Nobody has been allowed by the security forces to come out on the roads. And uh, though the, you know, Dr. Anamila chief, Asya Andrabi, had given a call for, to, for everybody to come out of their houses and go towards Hazrat Balchalo, she'd called for a Hazrat Balchalo where she wanted everybody to actually move towards the shrine. So definitely a calm day. Uh, what we were expecting was a protest and all, but thankfully we've seen a calm day where nobody was allowed to go onto the streets. Also, we've been talking to uh, various uh, people on the ground in Srinagar. Uh, Mehbooba Mufti uh, spoke to me on uh, a bulletin a few hours back, and she was uh, very critical of the government's handling of the situation. Uh, I remember also speaking to 
Uh, Junaid Ahmed, the young student in Srinagar, whom we spoke to on the phone line, also criticizing the government. Now, what is common sentiment like on the ground? Do people feel everybody's being punished for just what a few people are doing wrong? Well, exactly, Roy. And if we talk about the local people, especially from the downtown area where restrictions have been very strict, where they, they're not even allowed to move out of their you know, houses, move out of their compounds, which has become very difficult for the people to actually, for, you know, looking forward for, for the essential supplies like milk, like bread, which, which is definitely going out of stock, and the vegetables and fruits which were lying with the vendors from some time now have actually rotten down. So, so definitely a difficult situation, especially for the patients who, who are from the downtown area who are not being allowed to go and buy medicines based Baby food is actually becoming a big problem for, for, the, for the parents. There have been many calls that have been, we have received since morning from the parents who, who, who are actually complaining about that the babies don't have milk, they don't have baby food available to them. So that's, one, that's the reason that is actually, you know, simmering the, and the anger among mm -hmm. the people is increasing with, with these kind of, you know, facilities not available to the people in the valley right now. All right. Uh, let's just uh, go back to uh, that NewsX Impact story, the tragic story about the little baby boy. And uh, for the benefit of our viewers, if you can uh, tell us uh, about the funeral uh, arrangements now. And uh, you, uh, you were mentioning that uh, uh, a minister has called up uh, Sohail to tell him that an ambulance was sent. Well, exactly, Royden. That's what happened when the story was played on our channel about the baby who's been there for a long time in the cardboard box, who was lying there, and you know they were waiting for the proper burial of that baby. And after that, we got a call from my, my colleague, actually, Suhail Bukhari, got a call from the MOS Health at that very moment, and they arranged an ambulance for the, for the family. And we did speak to the family after that, and they were they were about to reach to their hometown, which is Sopor, which is just uh, uh, you know an hour and a half distance from Srinagar. So they, definitely, they'll be reaching any time from now to their their house where they do the proper burial of the baby. All right, uh, Idris, thanks very much for joining me uh, with those details. We'll, of course, come back to you for the latest. And, of course, that is uh, a NewsX impact. It's a tragic story about uh, the family uh, of this five-year-old boy, a uh, newborn boy who died, but the father of that boy had not been able to see the little baby. Because uh, NewsX highlighted the tragic case, uh, the ministers, the Minister of Health, Jammu Kashmir government stepped in and uh, ensured that an ambulance was readied and that all help was given to the family so that they not only could see the baby but also conduct the funeral. Now, the mother of an eight-year-old boy who died because the Prime Minister's security detail prevented him from reaching hospital has written in anguish to Congress Chairperson Sonia Gandhi.